All right, hey guys, Trafe Christian here today with, and we're back with a new series, and that is Umbrella Academy. So I put a poll up saying what show I should react to. Stranger Things one, I'm going to be doing that. But I actually read the synopsis for this, and I thought it'd be a fun one. I think like the synopsis sounds fun. Um, the synopsis sounds like a fun show to watch, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. And it weren't actually that far behind Stranger Things, so I thought, you know what, it doesn't. It's not going to harm me to watch this and Stranger Things at the same time, and it's not that long either. But no, I guess it, it's got to do with superheroes. Actually, as long as it's something different from the Marvel and DC stuff, I'm on board. The reason I love my hero so much is because it's a bit different from usual hero stuff. So if this can hit that sort of mark for me. Where it just takes its own take on it and spin on it. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. So, yeah, I've got no high expectations for this. It just looks like a fun show to react to. Sort of Netflix. I thought, why not? I'm going to do it alongside Stranger Things. So, feel free to subscribe, guys, if you want to check out Stranger Things and my Umbrella Academy reactions, which I will be trying to do every Sunday. And I might throw out an extra episode of Stranger Things now and again as well. I do majority normally react to anime, but I thought I'd try a few live action shows, and these are the two I've picked. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy us. Let's get into this. I love going into a new show you don't know, don't know much about. She drowned in. The fuck? How the fuck did she die? She about to explode? The kissing him cause her to... Is this going to be like the suit's first child with powers or something? She just become pregnant. Fuck, am I just trying to explain that one? Okay, okay, so she weren't the only one. What a bizarre way to start a story. Basically X-Men then. He got seven of them. <laughs> Why did they all come in such dramatic directions? I love the fact he's got a monocle. Brings life to my eyes. I love to wear a monocle, to be fair. Ooh, neck snap. Fuck yeah. Is that guy actually dead? <laughs> Look at this arrow wannabe. Ah. <laughs> oh, the banging violin as well. It's child number three. Looks like we're going through all the children then. Is he leaving rehab or something there? How's that all right, Ellen Page? Why is he just chilling in space? Command teleport or something. To infinity <laughs> and beyond. Well, that, that rehab did him well, didn't it? I guess it was rehab. Looks like we have a colourful cast of characters. No, Monocle dude's dead. One of them turns into a villain, maybe. That'd be interesting. Yeah, we are one kid down. Oh, no, down to four. Okay. Are they all just like, dying off or just appear, disappearing and doing their own thing? How many people will go to the funeral? Oh! Man's got attitude. That's what they want you to think. Of course his name's Luther. Why is everyone who's really big in video games, movies, always called Luther. <laughs> Kick a guy while he's in the grave. Wait, why the H words are that? You know, just go around buying children. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Was I set up a cast of characters that have a lot of history together? Could lead to some interesting interactions. See, did the dad use him as a tool for his own gain, or was he actually did he actually want to 
there would have been some sort of selfishness to be going around not trying to buy the children. He wasn't doing out of the goodness of his heart. Man's a monkey. One of the eights, mate, over there. Uh... Needs to pay for his drugs somehow. I wonder what all the powers are as well. I just realised they haven't got like. If they have got hero abilities, I just assume they have. Two set basically. Why is he so loyal to him? I do love Luffy's voice. Go away. He's so buff. This guy makes me a low key from Vikings. Floki, sorry. And if we, we need to know who this old man is. There's a bit of a mystery behind him. Now, was he did? Did he not care? What was he doing? Why did he buy the children? We will find out. Call Dan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did this turn into Cluedo? You're crazy. You're crazy. Maybe it's not what I was saying. I didn't. <laughs> Wasn't very smooth. Okay, so she can mind control in a way. Well, that's pretty useful. I had no effect when she spoke. This is Luther. Fucking hell, that ultimate stitch shit. <laughs> and this is our knife guy. They can control the reactor, maybe? Okay, someone summons a demon there. Oh, he turns into one, he's like Beast then. <laughs> Man, just commit murder. <laughs> Fuck it out. Oh, ouch. Deku? <laughs> Our world is changing. Has changed. Yeah, he seems like a quite selfish guy, the old bloke. Well, he's definitely got personality. I think this guy has a lot of pent up problems with his dad. I would just knock over his data. See, they wouldn't come back if they didn't care a little. Like, I've all got different opinions on the dad. Like, pretty cool. <laughs> Look how the mum's just cleaning up. Who's that in the basement? Who's that? Oh, that's the monkey. Why is he down there? Then we've got him, him, yeah. Oh, name it, and it's there. I think the dad was so sick of the dance and he had to come out of hell. The trust in holding hands. Is this the kid who went missing? Yeah, the kid who went missing. Man, a time traveler. Oh, 
Oh, he dropped half the ashes, didn't he? He was so loved, clearly. This monkey has something nice to say. Come on, guys. Surely this is one nice thing. Even if it was a cunt. <laughs> well, I'm kind of on his side here. He seems like that kind of person, but then we don't know more about it. Ooh! Oh, sure, I want to see the fight. Come on, big boy. There's Stephanie. I like the fact we did some time skip though. Got, got a lot of history about card characters we don't know about. We're just going to slowly unfold. Gives it a bit more interest. Ooh. They regret. Why has he got? I just realised he has a kid umbrella. This guy. Well, if we find out what happened to the other, the other children, they've probably tortured an experiment, or they probably might have the better half of it, but we don't know that yet. Which she wants to feel hot. I do not know what to think of this old guy. Well, if he didn't think number seven was special, he wouldn't have been watching it. So there's something about it, obviously. He's sassy, isn't he? Just the groove of man, Tar. Oh. Ah, yes. That's fine. This guy's just troll, isn't he? I'm walking over here. He's killing him with a fucking like not shitty knife get a restaurant. Ah, satisfying. Interesting music choice. I like the fact they're just killing people though, off it's not that it's <clears throat> The whole knocking out business, just killing them straight. Hey. See, it'd be too predictable if it's him. There would be a, there's a reason he has that. There's a fucking arrow next to him. Okay, now Ben's just there, deceased. Is he part of his figure of his imagination? Yeah, I think Ben's part of his imagination. Who knows? I'm sure these will be these questions will be answered. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate! Woke. 
And I'm going to info dump us now. No, oh, newspaper. At least that fixes something, like he doesn't know how to fix it, he just knows it goes down the shitter. Oh, we need it. Go. A bit sooner than I expected. Okay. Give us, give us, give us that last little bit there, give us the plot we needed. Yeah, I'll do that little bit at the end, give us the plot we needed to move forward. Interesting, interesting. Hmm, I don't know what to think of that. I enjoyed it. I thought it was quite a unique take on Heroes. I like how they did the skip of time, so all our characters all have, like, past with each other, know each other, they all have conflicted feelings on the dad, they all have different agendas, they all have, like, different ideologies and the way they go about things. I find that all quite interesting. The cast seem okay. I'd say a few characters seem very weak. The strongest one was definitely Diego. Uh, the one who's like Floki off Vikings, Luther, and I find the others a bit weak. I didn't find them that interesting. Um, the monkey seems alright. So yeah, the cast is a bit like, eh, at the moment. I'm sure when I get to know him more, I like him. Um, because it's only just been one episode. The episode did feel extremely long. Like, I don't, it didn't feel so paced. The pacing was alright, it just felt long. I'm guessing it was quite a long episode. I'm not too sure how long it was. Might have been an hour, that's why it felt like that. Um... Over that story, pretty cool superhero. Yeah, I mean, like I think I like the bet it's got a bit more gore and a bit more violence and there's um, deaths, which is always a bonus for me. Uh, time travel stuff, I'm with you on, but hey, it led to that little cool scene at the end where they've only got like eight days, so it means things need to get fucking moving. So yeah, got plot moving forward there. But yeah, so far, interesting, interesting pilot episode. I'm look forward to see how it's going to unfold. Let's see if it's enjoyed. I'm sure it doesn't get this raved about if it doesn't go somewhere. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what I think of the show overall. But, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.